What's up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And I'm gonna do my best. I'm going to do my best to wrap this thing back around to focusing on the solution. Okay, you guys, this is a different video. Real different video, you're gonna meet a very ranty Chris, a tough love Chris, and I'll try to remember to repeat this at the end, but don't worry about me. I'm gonna do a video for one of my best friends on earth, Kay from the channel Bipolar Pug. She just lost somebody to suicide recently, and I promised her I would do a guest video, which I'm gonna record. That will be a lot more tame. That will be a lot more solution-based. That will be a lot more about how to deal with grief and loss. But with my situation, with my platform, I need to get this out, okay? This morning, I'm sitting there drinking my coffee, replying to all of your comments like I usually do, and I get a message on Facebook. I get a message on Facebook that I've known all too well, and it's that another person that I know just lost their life to suicide, okay? In my world, in my life, what I've dealt with for the three and a half years, that is number 76. That is the 76th person who I have lost to mental illness, okay? Whether it be addiction, whether it be suicide, whether it be health issues based on substance abuse, whatever it is, 76 people, okay? I don't know how many people you know who have dealt with that, and I'm not special. A lot of this has come from me working in a treatment center and knowing a lot of people, okay? This, this woman who I just found out who lost their life, I had a lot of great conversations with them. There was somebody I thought was doing really well. I haven't talked to him in a while and I find out about this, but I'm pissed. I'm pissed, you guys. Like you wonder why I hustle so much. You wonder why I'm doing two, three videos a day, okay? Six and a half years ago, I had a 10% chance of living and I wanted to die. My parents were begging me to quit doing what I was doing with my substance abuse, but I wanted to die. Okay, and I have turned my life around. And I live an amazing life. You wanna know why comments and other YouTubers talking about my channel doesn't bug me? Because I have been in the darkest place that most people can't even imagine. And what I've turned my purpose into is helping other people. I started on this platform to help out friends. Okay, I used to have a bunch of friends message me, ask me about mental health advice and stuff like that. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put it on YouTube. You guys all keep asking me the same question. But then I found a greater purpose. I was like, I wanna help more people. I wanna help more people get out of that pit of despair that I used to be in, right? So I started taking YouTube a little bit more seriously. And I worked hard at it. I worked really hard. I was doing daily videos. Nobody was seeing the videos. There were some people seeing the videos, but nobody was seeing the videos, okay? And then I took a look at YouTube and I see how messy it is. I see how messy it is. I see so, so much untreated mental health issues going on on YouTube and how many people are just watching it, just spectating it, not understanding what it's doing to their mind, not understanding how it's setting up for them for false expectations of, oh look, you'll be a YouTuber and you'll be happy, or these examples of extremely toxic relationships. And I'm like, how can I turn that negative into a positive? And that's when my channel pivoted. That's when my channel pivoted and I started taking YouTube topics and relating it to examples. So. Recently, I've had you know some YouTubers start to notice my content. I'm getting bigger. I have people who are stands of them coming to my channel being pissed off at what I'm doing. And I wanna let you know right now, I don't give a fuck, all right? As long as there are YouTubers with millions upon millions upon millions of views every single month, being a bad example to people about what mental health should look like, I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna be right here in my apartment trying to take that and teach people what not to do. I'm gonna take that and teach people how to improve on their life if they can relate to that situation. So if people want me to quit making videos in the style that I'm making them, we need to start setting better examples. We need to start setting better examples of what mental health should look like, okay? Because there are so many people on this platform who are running around with tons of money and not taking their mental health seriously, okay? So yeah, some people are gonna get a little butt hurt along the way. Sorry, if you don't want to be an example of what you shouldn't be doing, start being a better example, 
all right? Now, in no way, shape, or form am I saying that this is a cause of mental health issues, but you guys, mental health issues are insidious, okay? What I'm trying to teach you guys on my channel is that mental health is different than a lack of mental illness. You don't need diagnosable uh, depression. You don't need diagnosable anxiety. You don't need diagnosable PTSD, okay? like. One of um, one of you amazing subscribers introduced me to a channel called Philosophy Tube, and this man shared his story about how he's attempted suicide multiple times. But he brought up a very great point using statistics that you don't need to be insane to commit suicide, and that's such an important point to make. Okay, a lot of people that we lose to suicide are people who have just been in a rut, and and you guys like. I'm trying to teach you guys about perspective and all these other things. Like, if you're sitting there on YouTube watching toxic relationships and thinking that it's healthy, that's a problem. If you're self-medicating with substances, that's a problem. If you're taking advantage of other people for your personal gain, that's a problem. And one of the reasons that's a problem is because we all have morals and values and things like that. And the more you feel like a piece of crap human being, the more likely you are to do something stupid because you're gonna not like yourself, all right? So yeah. As long as people on this platform are being a terrible example, your boy Chris is gonna be right fucking here to discuss it, all right? And I know, I know, I need to do a better job. I need to do a better job pointing out good examples, all right? But I don't know. Like, one of the issues with YouTube is, that we all know, one of the issues with YouTube, fuck it. One of the issues with YouTube is, is that it promotes bad examples, all right? I've done videos on people like Jack Septicai with his positive mental attitude movement. That video has less than a thousand views, all right? I've done videos about Anna Akana, who's a great example, all right? Those videos are getting a little bit more traction now that I'm growing. But you know what gets the most views? People running around looking like hot messes, refusing to get help, even though they know they need it. All right, and, and check it out. Like, I'm not mean, I'm not malicious. Well, I might be mean, I don't know. I get in this m mindset, but I truly hope the best for everybody. I made a video about Amberlynn Reed where I talk about I don't think anybody's a lost cause, you know? And some of my comments have said, you know, maybe I'm striking a nerve with people because I'm not, I'm not here to spill tea. I'm here to talk truth. You know what I mean? And as I get bigger, if YouTubers see that, cool. Like, I've had other YouTubers message me and thank me for my content, all right? So yeah, there's gonna be some people along the way who get pissed off because I'm pointing out the bad example they're being for people, but as long as you, the viewer, can relate to what they're going through, I'm gonna to try to offer you solutions. I'm gonna to try to offer you solutions so you don't get to a place where you think that suicide is an answer, all right? So I'm gonna end this video by saying this, like never lose hope, we're here for you. Like if you haven't yet, join the Facebook group, join the Discord server, I'm still in tough love mode. Like I love that you guys DM me and I try to mess, I try to get back to you, but you guys, you gotta join the Facebook group, you gotta join the Discord server. I'm only one person. I am only one fucking person. We have thousands of people, we have thousands of rewired soldiers who are here for you on a daily basis from all over the world, 24 seven. You hop in the Facebook group, you hop in the Discord server, you talk about what you're going through and people will be right there for you, okay? I know you have excuses like, oh, I don't like using Facebook, I don't like using Discord. Make a fake account, all right? Your mental health is more important than you being uncomfortable talking to strangers about what you're going through, okay? Whatever is going to save your life, whatever is going to save your mental state, you need to do it, all right? Now, if you are at a point where you're depressed and, you know, taking your life seems like an option, please check out the description down below, okay? I have put a list of suicide hotline numbers from all around the world. Um, please give them a call. If you don't feel comfortable about calling, text them. If you don't feel comfortable about calling or texting them, you know, you need to go talk to somebody, all right? But never lose hope. Never lose hope. Yeah, I talk about my past quite a bit on this channel because if a scumbag like me, who six and a half years ago wanted to die, wanted to no longer be on this planet, can live an amazing life today, and I'm nothing special, 
you could do it too. All right? So I will be doing a video over on Kay's channel, Bipolar Pug. The only link up in the info card and at the end screen um, is going to be to Kay's channel. Go subscribe to her. I'm going to do a video about how I deal with all this fucking grief and loss. But it's going to be a little bit more upbeat. And again, don't worry about me. I'm going to be recording a video with my son later today. It's going to be fun. And, you know, I've dealt with this so much and I have to keep pushing forward because what, what drives me is to help all of you who are still here, still struggling, and still want to get well. All right? So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.